You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remember my songs in the night. My heart mused and my spirit inquired. Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all times? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Many times when it comes to the things that we deal with in, especially anxiety and depression, we get to the point to where we feel as though God isn't listening. We feel as though God isn't even present. Now, recently we did a whole piece on Joseph, and if you'd like to go back to watch those videos, we'll give you the link right here so that you can go back to see those. But we recently showed with Joseph that even though you may not be able to hear God, it doesn't mean that he isn't there. Asaph is struggling here because he tends to go back and dwell and he gets stuck in the past. He lives there and he abides there. In Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19, Isaiah warns us against this very thing. Because we tend to dwell in the past, we can't stay in the present and we can never look to the future. And the problem with that is that when we go back, we get stuck in us and with us and the only ones there are us. We need to turn this around and we need to take this distress that we're feeling and give this to God so that we can walk alongside with Him. Tomorrow I'm going to share with you a poem and I want you to rest in what this poem means because you have to know that even though you feel alone, God will never leave you nor will He ever forsake you. If you are His child, He holds you in the palm of His hand.